Fast and the Furious 75 is right around the corner, which means we need to predict what's going to happen for the first and only time on this channel. I'm joined with Tony from Hack the Movies. Hi, everyone. Tony from Hack the Movies here. This film costs $350 million as of now, so it could balloon up to $500 million by the time this thing is done. James Cameron might be saying, that's a bit much. That's a bit excessive. Today, we're going to predict what's going to happen in Fast and the Furious 10. The bad, the good, the diesel. Let's begin. Tony, how familiar are you with the Fast and the Furious franchise? Please tell me. Oh, Adam, I like to think I'm an expert. I've seen the first two movies, Fate of the Furious, and Hobbs and Shaw. And that's it. I mean, that's a decent potpourri of the catalog. I'm going to tell you yeah. something right now. If you've seen anything past, like, four, you've seen all of them. Because they the stakes get higher. They're basically Looney Tunes movies at this point. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if Bugs showed up, actually, and had a cameo. Yes, I, I believe I saw The Rock uh, jump out of a Jeep to kick a torpedo that came from a submarine to blow some guys up. And then there were people wearing... I thought they were tiny jets, but they were wearing jetpacks that looked like tiny jets. That was in Fate of the Furious. And then in um, Hobbs and Shaw, it turns out there's an evil organization that has nano machines, and they had a nanovirus. And I, I don't know who, I don't know which one is Hobbs or Shaw, by the way. Uh, but The Rock and Jason Statham, and I thought Jason Statham was a bad guy because I remember seeing that trailer. But I guess he's a good guy. Uh, he, he kind of found himself. He found his ways. He's he's like he's like the Loki of the franchise. Except for, okay. without, except for without the charm and the wit and the charisma and all the things that come Well, it is you. Jason Statham. Right. Um, so, yeah, that that's where I left off. I did not see 9. And also, I didn't know who anyone was in <laughs> Part 8. Like, Vin Diesel was like, oh, this is a girl that I hooked up with in between Michelle Rodriguez. And I'm like, where did Michelle Rodriguez go? What, was she gone? What happened? So, yeah, I think, so yeah, what happened? One, I think at one point they killed her, Letty. And then oh. she like pops back up like she's on a soap opera a movie or two later and she has amnesia, of course, as one gets. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's how amnesia works. Yeah. And then, they, and then they had to kind of like get her back to where she belongs with the family that is Vin Diesel and company. Interesting right. enough, and Tony, in Fast 9, fine, if you will, which wasn't fine. It was actually horrible. Uh, it turns out Vin Diesel's character has a brother. Well, that's interesting because in Fate of the Furious, he found out he had a son. Is this going to be a thing? He's just going to find out each movie a new relative he has? Which is odd because it's a movie franchise centered around family. And this guy has absolutely no idea who any of his relatives are. It's just bizarre. Uh, they do a weird flashback in Fast and the Furious 9 where he's with his brother. And apparently they have a great relationship but had a falling out at some point And they just never mentioned him or had any photos and his sister didn't talk about him. Just really odd, you know, just odd stuff. Yeah, I love I love that cliche of like the sibling you never heard about sudden, suddenly showing up way later. Uh, Star Trek V, Star Trek V was the master of that. Where they're like, oh yeah, Spock had a brother this entire time. They had to call it out. And Kirk's like, you don't have a brother. I've known you for years. And he's like, you're right, I don't have a brother. It's a half brother. And it was like, <laughs> fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> But anyway, keep going. I was just going to agree with you. And oftentimes you see it on TV sitcoms when they've kind of like run out of gas or they're just trying to like quickly do an easy episode. So they're like, uh, so-and-so has a quirky sister or brother that we haven't heard about for four seasons. And here they are for this one episode. Yeah, yeah but Fast My and Furious, is, um, Fast and Furious is doing it nine movies in. So Fast 9, John Cena is his brother. Did John Cena survive that movie? Of course he did. Yeah, John Cena survived. Uh, I think he survived actually. <laughs> Actually, I don't know. I think the thing is, anyone that dies comes back. They're, they're essentially Avengers okay. movies at this point. They they fall down a cliff, and then it turns out they got, like, snagged on the side of a rock, and then four movies later, they're back. But I think for Fast 10, it's called Fast X. 10 is mm -hmm. the, you know, the, the other way to say that. When it's the 10th movie, you do have to do X. Jason X established that that is the rule. That is, that is something you have to do. Jason X established it. That's true. Yeah. And I think, like Jason X, they're headed to space. I had a question about that. Please do. Because I saw the trailer for the last one, and I believe they had a, a car strapped, strapped to a rocket ship. 
Yeah. And it was going to space. Did it not make it all the way to space? Well, you know, it broke the Earth's atmosphere. It broke the crust, if you will. Uh, so they were teasing it. They teased it. They teased they it, did- but then they just kind of floated and then went back down. They, they, uh, that worked. That worked. Cause I bet you they were like, you were like, shit, I want to see that car go up into space. I think this time they make it all the way. I think Vin Diesel somehow going to get inside of one of these rocket ships it's going to go up into the sky. There's going to be a base orbiting the atmosphere, and there's going to be a fight takes place on there. I think okay. Diesel's brother's coming back. I think we're going to see more of him because he was popular in the last film. Uh, I think that there's going to be some stakes this time. I think some key characters are going to die for real. Okay. Uh, Georgiana, Bre- his sister, Jordana Brewster, did she come back? She came back in the last one, right? Jordana Brewster is in it, yes. Briefly, but she's there. Okay, so does she mention Paul Walker? Because I know he's technically alive in that universe, but obviously they don't show him. Wish I had something to pour out in memory of Paul Walker, but I don't. I, I have it. I have an empty mug. I can. There you go. Please, please symbolically pour one out yeah. for Paul Walker. Um, he lives life a quarter mile at a time. Is that, <laughs> is that, is that, what, is, is that the term? <laughs> I, I think Vin Diesel said that. Okay, okay. So. You're right, you're right. Uh, Vin Diesel, he's got another family member who I assume is on the moon. Of course, uh, yes. And he's just like, man, I had I had a long-lost brother. He he was drifting, and he drifted so hard, he fell off a cliff, and then it, it, he drifted all the way out of the Earth's atmosphere and landed on the moon. He did, he drifted. Well, Fast and the Furious is owned by Universal, right? Yes. And Universal also has Transformers. And Jurassic Park. Well, yeah, they also have Jurassic Park. And tr- in Transformers Dark of the Moon, it's established that there were already Decepticons living on the moon. Oh, wait, Universal might... No, no, I think Paramount has Transformers. Damn it! This would have been the perfect crossover event for Fast and the Furious X Transformers. Uh, now, I do believe Brie Larson is in the movie. Brie Larson's in this. Okay, well, that changes How everything. How did I... Hold on, hold on. That Let changes, me make sure. That changes everything. Hold on, hold on. Fast. Yes, Brie Larson is in Fast X. Prediction. Brie Larson is the sister of, drumroll please, (laughs) Brian O'Connor, Paul Walker's character. Yeah. I see that. I see that. Um, And she's like, hey, you guys like family, but you never invite me to anything. Yep. And you also like, I have <laughs> And she's like a professional booster in the mean streets. Brian was disappointed with her from a young age. She was on the wrong side of the tracks. And so mm-hmm. now she's finally come into their life after all these years with information. Yep. Yep. And uh that information is on the moon. <laughs> um which, Pre- thank God, way. they're filming precisely. it in space because she's also doing the Marvel. So they, so she probably changes wigs and she's adds still up. on the moon. It just yeah, adds it, up. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and uh, this movie is going to end with Diesel, uh, which is short for Vin Diesel. He's mm-hmm. going to uh, meet up with his buddy Brian, Brian O'Connor again. They're going to have like a nice little sunset drive. Maybe they play mm-hmm. the song again. It's been a long but in space this time? <laughs> but in <laughs> space, two, yes, of course. In space, there are two rocket ships, and one goes to Mars, and the other goes to, like, the moon. <laughs> I was going to say they're, like, drifting on the moon, and they're just, like, doing, like, <laughs> like, like, like doing shitties in, in craters. <laughs> and as they're, like, circling each other, they just both look and just give, like, a nod, and, and that's it. <laughs> and then, and then, and then the the camera like pans back from the crater, and it becomes like a, a wheel of a car, and then Fast Ten comes up, and that's it. Oh, that that's how it's gonna end. That is how it's gonna end. Of course, a song from Luda comes on. Luda. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so who was the bad guy in Fast Nine? Was it John Cena? Uh, the bad guy in Fast Nine were the friends we made along the way. <laughs> did Charlie's did Charlie's their own leave? John. C- so the one you saw, one of the few that you saw is one that I didn't see. So I didn't see the one where Charlize Theron is the villain. Oh, I thought you were up to date on the rich lore. 
<laughs> when she's like randomly in Fast Nine, I'm like, what, what, what the hell is this bitch doing in it with her cool haircut and her, her technology? She's there. <laughs> they have her like imprisoned behind the the same um, prison cell they put Magneto in in X Two X Men United. Oh. Yeah, she's in just a big plastic square, and she's like, you guys won't be able to hold me forever. And they needed her to hack something, so they put like a little keyboard in there, and she's like, done. And that's okay. it. She's gonna break out because she was able to figure out that Vin Diesel had a had a had a secret son that he didn't know about. So she's able to know about Paul Walker's sister Brie Larson, and she's gonna be like, "Hey, you, you, these guys are what drove your family apart. He chose this family over yours, exactly, because she makes Vin Diesel betray his family for his secret son that he didn't know he did. She's a so puppet she's master. Like, she's a puppet master. Yeah. Yep, and she's like, listen. Uh, us girls got to stick together. And then Brie Larson's going to be like, I hate men. And then join her. You know why they and, have to stick together, Tony? Yeah. Because they're a couple of strong female leads. And Adam, I think it's about time. Exactly right. Mm-hmm. So what do you think? Fast 10? Are you going to be seeing it, Tony? Are you pumped? Probably not. <laughs> I don't see all the other ones. I saw part nine as a joke. Uh, I mean, not nine. I saw Hobbs and Shaw as a joke. And then I reviewed part eight because I thought it'd be funny to review a movie where I knew nothing going on. Uh, and I think I got it from there. I think I'm fine. <laughs> I don't think I need to see it. <laughs> Someone in your comments was like, uh, when he, he was mentioning me when we were going over the, all the movies that uh, you yeah. didn't see and I did. He's like, why does Adam even... Why is he even a critic? It doesn't seem like he likes any movies. He's like, I see like a million movies a year. We're covering the ones that we didn't talk about. So yeah, there's a lot of bad ones I see. And Fast 10 will be one of those. I guarantee yeah, it. I, I, I guarantee it. Tony, thank you for joining me again. Where can the audience find you? You can find me on YouTube at Hack the Movies or go to HackTheMovies.com. We have a podcast we do every Monday. Uh, it airs on Monday, but you can also get it wherever you get your podcast. A lot of times later in the week, I'll do smaller bonus videos or I'll do a live episode like the one I did with Adam a while back. And I also have stuff on Patreon if you end up being a fan. We all we got a lot of fun stuff, so check me out there. Very exciting stuff. And if you're new here, maybe think about joining, become a member, subscribe. I guess you're not a member, you're just subscribing to the channel. That's weird to say. Like the video if you had a good time, and hopefully I'll see you on the next one. Take care.